Hi everyone and welcome to April Break at the King Township Public Library. My name is Callie and we are going to be making our own constellation tubes to help us see uh, the constellations in the night sky. So a constellation is a grouping of stars that form a picture. And right now there's estimated to be about 88 constellations uh, in the sky. You might know some of them, um, Big Dipper, Orion's Belt, those kinds of things, Cassiopeia. Those are all constellations in the night sky. And we're gonna make our own way to view them, even if it's not night. These constellations often come from Greek and Roman mythology and have stories to go along with them. So it'd be really interesting to see what constellation you pick and what the story has to go with it. All right, let's make our own constellation scopes. So this is actually really easy. And we can use a toilet paper roll or a paper towel roll. You might want to cut it in half, it's up to you. Might change how it works. Constellation printout, uh, linked below, uh, that you can print out single-sided. You can use aluminum foil or I'm using black uh, cardstock or construction paper. You're going to want glue. I also have tape, just in case. I'm using um, skewers, but you can use a push pin or a toothpick, a rubber band, and a flashlight. We are going to make our constellation scopes. So if you've ever looked out at the night sky, you can see patterns of stars that are sometimes identified as constellations. There are numerous constellations in the night sky that represent a lot of Greek and Roman mythology. Some of these include Orion, Cassiopeia, and Ursa Minor. While there are many constellations in the sky, some constellations are only visible during certain times of the year. Currently, there are 88 modern constellations in the sky established by the International Astronomical Union. So let's get started. So the first thing we're going to want to do is decorate our paper tube. You can decorate however you want, but I am just going to label mine with the constellation that I am going to use. And I'm choosing this one because I am a Taurus, so I thought that might be a fun one to do. You can decorate however you want, if you've got washi tape, if you want to put construction paper on it, um, googly eyes, feathers, however you want it to look, it's great. And then you're going to want to have this and you're going to want to cut out the individual um, items. Now I just roughly cut them out into this because um, I hadn't quite decided which one I was going to do. But now I know I'm going to do it first, so I'm going to look at that one. There we are. So you're just going to want to cut out along the dotted line. And so because I'm using the construction paper, I'm going to glue it onto there. But if you're using aluminum foil, you want to glue it in there. I want to keep it as centered as possible. Now we're going to poke the holes through at each of the dots. It might help to have something a little bit sturdier behind it so you don't poke yourself and it just makes it a little bit easier to poke the hole through. All right, so my skewer wasn't working, so I went and got a push pin. I don't know if you can see the holes through there, but they're pretty tiny, so I'm just gonna make them a little bit bigger. Now we're well, able to make them bigger, so now we're going to attach them to our paper tube. I'm going to go ahead and cut slits all around here. They don't have to be exact or anything, it's just going to help us fold it around the paper tube. I've got the slits because as you can see, trying to hold that on them. It's not going to work very well. But with this one, it'll fold down really nicely. So you can glue these or tape it, but because of an elastic, I'm just going to use that a little bit quicker. There we go. And now you can look through it at the light. Let's test it. Let's try our constellation scope. So I have gone into a dark room and I have a flashlight and let's see what the constellation looks like. And there we go. You can see, I believe that is the bull. Whoops. 
There we go. That is the bull Taurus that I used for my constellation scope. Uh, you can see the two horns at the top and then underneath is the face. Is my understanding. I am not a constellation expert, so if I'm wrong, feel free to let me know or to show off how your constellation scope looked. So something else you can do um, related to constellations is we can make a fortune teller kind of constellation viewer sort of thing. So check the link below for the printer. I have printed it April because um, that's the month we're in and we're just gonna cut around the outside. There we go. So now you're just going to fold it diagonally, so corner to corner. Open that up, and corner to corner again. Now fold each corner into the middle. So flip it over and fold into the corner, into the center again. Okay. Now you're gonna fold in half this way. Now you're gonna fold in half this way. So go ahead and stick your fingers in. You might need to do some fiddling with it. And there we go. So what you're going to do is you're going to play this with somebody else and ask them to pick a number. So let's say four. One, two, three, four. And I'm not sure if you can see in there very well, but then you would pick one of the um, constellations and you would spell it out. So I'm going to do Leo, L-E-O, and then you're going to pick a constellation and unfold it. So because I did the Taurus constellation for my scope, I'm going to unfold Taurus. And then if you look up in the sky, you should be able to see the constellation in red. And that's why it's important to print out the current month because the constellations will change as we go through the month. So once we get into May, you can print out that one and so on. So did you make your own constellation uh, scope? Here's mine, not very nicely decorated. Hopefully you guys decorated yours a little bit better. Uh, but here's another idea is you could come up with your own constellation and use your constellation scope to make a new one. Uh, maybe you can create a story to go with it. Just like in Beacon Roman mythology, you could have a story as to why that constellation is in the night sky. Have fun.